Hey gang, Drex here from DrexFactor.com. This past week I saw a post on PoiChat that provoked some really intense discussion and I wanted to weigh in with my own opinion. The question was whether it was worth it to spend money on lessons when so much free material, including my own, is available for free online. And more broadly, does commerce somehow sully the flow arts? My own short answer to this question? No, it does not sully the flow arts. And yes, you should absolutely pay for lessons, props, events, and whatever other goods and services you encounter that are worth your time. If you were in the flow arts 15 years ago, it's pretty much guaranteed that you had to make all your own equipment, teach yourself how to spin, and if you're to interact with other artists, it was either by running into them randomly or being lucky enough to live someplace where regular meetups happened. And that's changed dramatically, especially in the past five years. And the biggest reason for that is that people are willing to pay for all these things now. Getting paid to create props, events, or lessons allows a person to focus on creating those resources rather than being dependent upon freeing up funds or free time from their primary hustle in order to do so. That also means people can invest more time, energy, and effort into researching new technologies and new possibilities. Without being willing to pay for goods and services, we wouldn't have Technora Poily leashes, quick wicks, or any of the programmable LED props that are now on the market. A lot of us who come into the flow arts at some point encounter the idea that giving away freely to the community is part of what makes it so special, and I would absolutely agree with that. In part, it's an attitude I think we've inherited from burner culture, with its ethos on decommodification and a gifting economy. Giving something to a friend or a complete stranger for no other reason than to brighten their day represents a kind of generosity that I think a lot of us find lacking in the wider world. But it also has its limitations. Very few people gift rooms to stay in, food to eat, or a data plan for a cell phone. For all of those things, you almost certainly need money. If that money doesn't come from a good or service you produce for the community, it has to come from somewhere else. And every dollar earned in this fashion is time spent away from the flow. Arts world. Real quick, I just want to take a second to thank the friends of the channel. Dark Monk specializes in researching and designing spinning arts equipment, personalized to the artist. They want to help you find and design your next prop so it can be an extension of your art. Find them on the web at dark-monk.com. Spinballs feel that the benefits of poi as an art form are numerous and seeks to promote the art through quality equipment at affordable prices. Find them on the web at spinballspoi.com. Ultra Poi pushes the boundaries of LED skill toys to bring custom lights to the masses, creating professional shows at competitive prices. Find them on the web at ultrapoi.com. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for making the videos on this channel possible. Now on with the show. Now, not all of us are gonna be able to do flow arts full time nor should we. But for those of us who've committed to specializing our expertise to produce goods and services that benefit large numbers of flow artists, I'd absolutely argue it's not just an economic, but also a moral imperative to support that work. Doing something to brighten someone's day is awesome, but I can do that with something as simple as holding the door for someone. Creating a resource that is so important to someone that they're willing to pay for it is huge, and it probably means that that resource is useful to quite a number of people. Wait, how can I be arguing that people should be paid for their offerings to the flow arts world, especially lessons, when I give all my content away for free? To be honest, this is a thing I frequently struggle with myself, and making these videos right now would be absolutely impossible for me were it not for the people contributing to me on Patreon. Those few people voluntarily supporting this channel are what make it possible for all these videos to be freely available to everyone else. And yeah, every once in a while I think it'd probably be smarter for me to keep my lessons behind a paywall. I'd reach fewer people, but it would probably increase my income overall. I like knowing I'm helping a lot of people begin and continue their flow journey, but that certainly doesn't happen in a vacuum. Bottom line, if you appreciate the work somebody is putting into some resource, any resource, whether it be props, fire festivals, lessons, etc., pay them for it. Doing so makes our community better and the people in it happier. And if you'd like to help make sure the content I make stays free forever and available to people all over the world, head over to my Patreon and sign up to make a contribution. Paying somebody for a service doesn't take the magic out of it. Personally, I think showing someone how much their work means to you is pretty magical in and of itself. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the flow. Peace. Hey there, thanks so much for watching my video. If you got anything out of it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Special thanks to all of my wonderful backers on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer and would like to sign up to support my channel, please visit patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks so much in advance.